Hey guys, thanks for joining me, Maria Mitchell here. I wanna go through this paint station that I have DIY'd myself um, into a craft and go like face painting kit. Now, I don't wanna take full credit for this idea. I was browsing online about a couple of weeks ago and there was a girl that posted this somewhere and I can't remember where she posted it um, and she did mention that she used the same materials that I'm about to show you. It's pretty exciting because I absolutely love the craft and goes from what I've seen online. Um, they look like a fantastic face painting kit and uh, it's on my one day list um, to have but for the meantime this works for me perfectly. I've had my first job um, using it for the first time this morning and it, it was it was a treat. I like to have things organized and you know have things in their place so I know exactly where to reach for and I'm not fumbling over paints and things are spilling over so I like to know exactly where everything is and that's why this um, the craft and go idea is amazing because everything just magnets on um, perfectly and you can just reach out I need this split cake so I'm just going to pull it out and put it back in there when I'm done I don't have to worry about where did I leave it in my table which is the problem that I had prior to this so the, the core of this is basically a makeup case if you Google lighted up makeup studio um, on eBay or on Google, you'll be able to find one of these and you can pick them up for say from $100 up to about $300. Depending on what size you're after etc this is just a medium size it's not really that wide um, it's about 53 centimeters from in width i think it's a perfect size for all the things that i carry some people need more space and i do understand that so i guess it's up to you to i don't know have a look online and see where you are locally what you can pick up i got this one from gumtree which is an australian cl classified um website where people sell used things so this was an ex makeup artist that used to use this case it has legs that you screw on down the bottom so you have that functionality of of not having to have a table and um, you can rock up anywhere and just sit up your kit you don't need it need a table all you need to do is just um lug over your high chair or whatever chair you use if you have a look at the lighted up makeup kits, you'll find that they have these compartments in the middle that fold out. And that's what I had prior to this. And I used to, it worked all right, and they had glass covers. Worked all right at the beginning, but it just added a lot of weight to the kit. So what I've basically done, I've hollowed everything out from the makeup kit. I've taken the inner compartments out. I've taken the lights out because they came with lights. And I've basically taken all of the inner parts of it and I was left with the shell. Um, most of the stuff was glued on, so that's fine. You can also make this kit with a hard case um, travel bag travel luggage because um, it's got wheels um, but then with that you don't have the leg so you're basically putting it on a table again but it keeps everything nice and compact for you anyway some people have used a DJ hero case um, other people have used guitar cases um, whatever instrument cases because they come with such a hard cover um, you can use anything like that as long as it's something that's going to protect your paints that are inside obviously and the structure of it and obviously magnets magnet to steel so instead of looking for sheets of steel or aluminium so what I got for the aluminium was some whiteboard so I went over to Officeworks here in Australia and they have all different size whiteboards and I've just cut it to size. Now you just got to be careful cutting whiteboard um, up because it does tend to chip a little when you're cutting and it can really cut you. So you've just got to be really careful and use maybe secateurs like tin secateurs to cut them up. 
So I've basically pulled apart the whiteboard, taken away the frames and, and cut them up to size. So all that I was left with was the board. So if you have a look here, I've got little tabs here, which is just duct tape that's stuck onto the bottom of it. So what I was left with was just the board of the whiteboard. And then I've gotten some duct tape over here, some white duct tape just to cover the edges so I, I don't cut myself pretty much. So in here is where I basically keep, you know, things that we all need like our sponges bag. When we're done, we put everything in there and our mirror, etc., glitters, because um, I take the bottle glitters off and put them back in there in, in a little case. So everything else stays as is. The water well comes out, obviously, and into my backpack. But everything else is basically in the kit. So you don't need to be setting anything up pretty much when you arrive to a job. So then once I've cut that whiteboard to size, I've cut some little dowel up. So you could use a dowel, like wooden dowel, or a block of wood. And what I've done, I've just glued it to the inner of the case so that that stops this from falling right down and hitting the bottom of the case. So it sits nicely flush um, onto this area here. So say if this is transparent, you will see a piece of dowel that's that I've cut up to about that deep and it's basically just glued onto the inner of this wall. And I've got another one here, I've got another one there on the other corner and that's what basically keeps this, it's, it acts like a shelf, pretty much a shelf holder for the whiteboard. Now because it's a whiteboard, um, it, things will magnetize to it. The magnets that you're going to use are called rare earth magnets. The reason why you're getting rare earth magnets is because they have the ability to be really strong, extremely strong. Um, they're actually, they say, can be quite dangerous. If they come together really quickly, they can shatter. So just take care in handling them. So you can get rare earth magnets from eBay. You can get them um, from anywhere in your local area that do sell magnets. They generally come quite cheap um, if you buy them in bulk. So I bought these, I bought mine from a company called AMF in Australia. And because I've bought 60 of them, they come, they amounted to about a dollar fifty each. Here I have some of them. They're gold. Um, you can get any color. I just chose gold because it was the cheapest out of the range. And they basically, when you pull them apart, you want to slide them out. And so that's what one will look like. So you can get any shape magnet just make sure that the diameter is um, small enough to fit on your cakes and your um, powders or whatever you're sticking on there so what I've gotten is just a really strong duct tape um, that I have because those of you who know me I also hand make um, dance hoops hula hoops so I use a lot of this duct tape which you can find from um, fine tape Dot com. Um, there are a few suppliers all over the world. You can get really strong tape or electrical tape will do if it's really strong. I find that this brand from Duck, which is um, D-U-C-K, not D-U-C-T, they, I find that their duct tape is probably the strongest that I've come across. So that will hold your magnets um, in place and because obviously the tape is going to go over the name of the split cake because if I want to reorder a split cake and I don't quite remember the name I also have just added a little uh, label on there and handwritten what it what it is the name of the split cake so I know what to order next time now my brushes are all velcroed up here so if I'm taking them off I've just stuck some velcro on here and stuck some velcro on the string of the paintbrush case 
and then when I'm done obviously I'll put this away okay and so that just leaves them nice and compact and because it's hanging on the side I don't want any brushes to fall down so I've just got this little piece of um, cardboard there just to prevent them from falling off it just gives me more space to use this magneted section without the paintbrush case there I've also got my smoothie blenders or powder applicators whatever you want to call them um, and now this was just a aluminium bracket that I bought from the local hardware store or Bunnings or whatever local hardware store um, is around you and then I've stuck with some super glue the magnets on there I let them dry for about 24 hours um, just to make sure that they're right in there so then what I'll do at the end of a job I'll just take all my smoothie blenders and I actually wash these I can get a few wears out of these um, so I'll wash them at home sanitize them and then they're nicely they're sitting there nicely and um, they're not making a mess out of my brush case because normally I'd have my smoothie blenders there and my brushes here and every time I'd close them after a job all of that powder would just transfer there is some powder still left there um, onto the other side and I'd have to wipe them every now and again so that makes life a lot easier and obviously your paints would be repotted this is these are just plastic trays that I've repotted my paints onto and they're also magneted on so um, you can use to repot your paints you can use anything you like that fits your paints and aren't so deep that you can't that you have to really get in there and, and work the paint so you want them to be sh relatively shallow um, but deep enough to fit your paints in and um, so I just I just I forget where I got these I think from a craft shop a long long time ago for a different purpose so you can use jewelry containers um, if you go to your local uh, craft store bead containers where you can store your beads for bead making um, so yeah so have a look around you'll be able to find something to repot your paints in glitter tubs I've also stuck magnets down the bottom so I can easily just put them away um, just down on that row you can organize it obviously any way you like so pixie paint up here that works just fine for this size of pixie paint you can get the larger bottles um, but this works for for magneting on what I've done with my stencils because it's so awkward when you're painting a child and you've got your ring organizer of your stencils and flicking through them sometimes for me I find that it's a real hassle um, so what I used to do is just keep all my stencils here and then I, I noticed that they started getting tangled into each other especially the frozen ones etc so what I've done is I have taped the magnets onto it um, so I've just taped them up the top like that and then when I need one I'll just grab it from there and they're all there the ones that I use regularly I put here and the ones that I don't really use I have underneath the kit so this is pretty much how I made my version of the craft and go so this will have to do until the dream becomes a reality and I actually get a proper craft and go um, but I find that this might last me quite some time and um, yeah it's, it's a delight to paint with so the lighted up makeup studios I do recommend because I've used them I haven't used the DJ hero or any luggage case but I guess any case that comes with the wheels works so this one costs me about a hundred dollars from Gumtree secondhand um, and in materials in making the whiteboard the whiteboard probably cost me about $15 from office works so I got one whiteboard another whiteboard so that's $30 right there and the magnets which were about 
a dollar they amounted to about a dollar 30 each roundabout there so if you do the math um, it turns out to be a lot cheaper than um, buying an actual craft and go if I've missed anything in this video on how I did this please comment below and I'll um, get back to you with any answers you need so I hope this helped you out and until next time happy painting Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.